Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews on A2, and today we're going to take a look at a Bluetooth transceiver. This is the Creative BT W3. Keep watching to find out why you need one. Okay, so in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the Creative BT W3. Now, for those of you that are watching this, you may be thinking, oh, it's a Bluetooth transmitter or a USB Bluetooth. Well, it kind of is, but it kind of isn't. This is a new device from Creative, which is designed for those of us that like our Bluetooth headsets, uh, whichever brand they may be, Creative, whatever the case, if you want to use them with low latency devices. So say, for instance, you're watching your YouTube videos or you're gaming, that kind of thing. Those kind of things need split second responses. And unfortunately, most Bluetooth devices just simply cannot deliver that kind of quality. This is where the BTW3 steps in. So this is designed to work with the APTX standards, both APTX HD and APTX LL, which is low latency, and can give you Bluetooth latency of around about 30 to 40 milliseconds, which is actually far lower than the standard or SBC profile, which you'd normally get with Bluetooth devices. So starting off with the packaging, it's the, uh, the usual kind of creative labs kind of stuff. And as you can see for some of the other stuff we've got here, it all looks very, very similar. It's all got like creative logos on there, all that kind of thing. On the front, it does say there, it works with PS4, works with Nintendo Switch, works with Mac, and it works with PC. So Windows 10, OS X, Nintendo Switch, obviously, PS4 does have to be on version five or a newer for that. Switch version, I'm not entirely sure. I don't think there is any kind of caveats on that. Although there is a caveat with the microphone, which we'll take a look at later. You do have to update some firmware in it to make it work with the kind of hands-free protocol, but we'll get onto that when we get into the box. Actually, before we open the box, on the back, more instructions, and actually it's pretty cool how this works. So basically you've got selective modes on there. So depending on which mode you want or what works best with your headset. So if you don't have an APTX compatible headset, you can choose a different protocol or a different codec. So it supports the normal SBC codec, it also supports standard APTX, APTX HD, and APTX LL, or low latency. So depending on what device you've got, you can flick between them. So also, if you're, maybe you've got a headset, maybe like the SX5 Air, then you can choose, if you're watching a movie, that it requires a little bit less latency restrictions, but better sound quality, you can choose APTX HD, or if you're using that headset and you're playing some games and you need that split second responses, then you can switch it to APTX LL. You generally get the idea. So let's take a look and see what we actually get. So first of all, there is the actual hardware. And we've also got a instruction guide and a guarantee. And the instruction guide goes through in multi-language, basically telling you how to set it all up. Pretty straightforward. It is essentially plug and play, or to the most part anyway. So in the actual box itself, we get a USB Type-C transmitter or transceiver. Tiny little device. It's got the Creative Labs logo on that side. On the top is our push button to change through modes. And on this side, we've got our USB Type-C connection. So this essentially is basically a USB sound card, but with a Bluetooth transmitter built into it. So when you plug this into your PC or your Mac or your phone, it just recognizes it as a USB sound card. So if we go ahead and do that now, plug it into our PC, but oh no, we can't because my PC doesn't have USB Type-C, but Creative have already thought of that and included in the packaging is a Type-C to Type-A converter. So all you need to do is plug that into there and then you can plug it into a convenient USB port and that's it, plug and play. So immediately the system, Windows 10 in this particular instance, is gonna recognize this as a sound card or a audio device. So if we right click in Windows and go into our system, actually we'll go into uh, device manager. And if we go into sound video and game controllers, you can see there is the Creative BTW3. So literally it just is essentially added as a sound card. The Bluetooth side of it, you don't have to worry about setting up anything, pin numbers or pairing, all that kind of thing. You do have to pair it for the first time. So at the moment, the light on there is flashing blue. So with our Creative Urvana headphones or headset here, just turn them on. And that's powered on. And in a few seconds, that'll go through doing the pairing process and it will automatically sync with the device. Generally, it will sync with any devices that are nearby, preferably the closest. 
and obviously if there are other devices with Bluetooth on at the same time, it might be an idea to turn those off whilst you're doing the pairing. But saying that, I've just heard it come through there, it says connected. So our devices are connected and now we can tell that because the indicator on the USB is now turned white, solid white, whereas it's flashing blue when it's connecting or pairing, etc. So solid white, so it's actually selected a profile already and it's selected the aptx LL. So if we want maybe a little bit more clarity, or a bit more precision, or a little bit more of a higher bit rate for our audio, we can just press the button on the side, and the color will change, goes to like a goldy yellow color, and now we're in aptx HD mode, which is fantastic. So we don't have to go through messing around with any settings in Windows, we don't have to look at our hi-fi or anything like that. All you do, press a button, and it'll just transfer to the better codec. So say for instance our headset doesn't support those codecs, we can press it again and it will switch to green and then that puts us into standard aptx mode. So any headset which supports aptx, like these Trania T10s, again the SX via Air, whatever the case may be, as long as it supports aptx protocol, which is the Qualcomm protocol, which actually tons and tons of devices do, so you shouldn't have any issues finding a device that it supports. But if you do and it doesn't work properly or the sign doesn't sign right for whatever reason, press the button again and we can go to the last one, which is just the standard blue light, which is essentially Bluetooth mode. So that puts it into SBC, which is basically the standard protocol which all Bluetooth devices use, Bluetooth 4 upwards, Bluetooth 5, etc., etc. So this is going to give you the utmost compatibility. Also, because this works on the Bluetooth 5 protocols, you get low energy use. Also, it is a very good codec and works very well. Distance wise, 10 meters, 33 feet, pretty much line of sight, depending where you are, obviously. So if you've got this plugged in to maybe a PC or something near your TV and you're sat a few meters back on the sofa or whatever, you shouldn't have any problems at all. I've actually tried this. I've gone into the kitchen, done some cooking, etc. come back. It's been absolutely fine walking around the house. No breakups, no crackling, no loss of signal. It's been absolutely fantastic. So going back to what we actually get in the packaging, because we did go slightly off track there, we also get a analog microphone. This is a four pole device. Now this is designed for if you're using this with a PlayStation 4, or maybe you're using it with your Nintendo Switch. Basically what you can do with this, so you can plug the USB adapter into your PlayStation 4. You can plug this bit into your joypad or controller, and then you can use this as you would normally. So have a headset on, Bluetooth headset, Essentially, it just means you can be wireless away from your PlayStation, playing your games, playing games with the best latency that you can possibly get, or pretty much, especially for the money. Now, we didn't talk about money. At the moment, the BT-W3 is running out £35 here in the UK. You can always find from Creative. They always have these offers on every now and then, so definitely worth going to their site and signing up. And if there's any reductions or any special offers, you'll be notified of those straight away. But I think for £35, this has actually solved a lot of problems. And one of the main benefits is, if you've got your PlayStation 4, you've got your Nintendo Switch, you've got your Media Center PC, you've got your laptop, whatever else it is, you don't have to worry about pairing your headphones or your device with all those individual things. And you don't have to worry about they're on, and maybe you turn the headphones on and it connects to the laptop in the other room, or whatever the case may be. Whichever device it's got the USB plugged into is the one it's gonna pair with, or actually gonna work with. So I can quickly unplug this now, I can then, if I wanted to, plug that into my Xiaomi Mi phone, and then I can use the headset straight away with them, don't have to worry about pairing, anything like that. And I could also, I can then go over to my PC over there, I can plug this in, and I can work on my PC, and I don't have to worry about disconnecting the Bluetooth from any of the other devices. It just automatically follows me around to this device, which is excellent in my opinion. So it means that you don't have to have things paired left, right, and center, or you don't have to worry about which devices are paired, or maybe even some devices run out of spots where you can actually pair them. Some devices are limited. They can only have two or three, maybe five devices paired at once. All of that is completely gone now. So literally, you have this device, the USB part of it, the sound card part, remembers what it's paired to last. And if you do want to reset it or do anything like that, change the headset, etc., all you need to do is just press and hold the button on the end for about five seconds or more, and it will do basically a factory reset and forget all of its settings, all of its pairings, etc., etc. Another thing you can do, whilst you're in kind of gaming mode on your Nintendo Switch or maybe your PlayStation, if you actually want to answer a telephone call or something or go into a chat room, you can just press the button on the top twice and the light will turn red, and that is basically in hands-free mode. So then you can have a chat through Discord or chat servers, those kinds of things, but using your Bluetooth headset. 
So rather than having to rely on other things or change apps or whatever, you can just switch it over with the press of two buttons. Well, one button, two presses, but you get what I mean. So anyway, that has been the Creative BT-W3. What do you think of it? Let me know in the comment section. I'd be interested to know if this would uh, solve any problems in your particular household. Will it make life easier for your media center? Are you fed up of all the lag and stuttering of rubbish Bluetooth codecs or maybe devices which don't support low latency? Okay, let me know in the comments. I'd be interested to know. But there we go. That's the BT-W3. I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To. And hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.